In this video, we're going to take a look at the forum feature. Forum is a great way to have a discussion uh, with your students um, and have your students speak with each other. Um, what Forum will allow you to do is have a more extensive, more in-depth answer to a question or discussion as opposed to a chat feature, which is kind of a quick back and forth. Forum also has an HTML editor, so it will also allow you to bring in pictures and web links and so on and so forth in your discussion as well. Another nice feature about Forum is you can grade Forum. Uh, Moodle is, is set up to where you can assign a grade to Forum posts. There are several different ways to uh, assign a form, and we'll go ahead and cover those at this time. So first thing I'm going to do is turn editing on. I'll add an activity, and I will call that form. And I'll just name this uh, sample form. OK, standard for general use will leave it open. Students will enter the form, enter the discussion, and they'll post back and forth and reply to one another. Another nice uh, feature in this is a Q&A form. Sometimes, if you ask a question, uh, students will just look at what other students have answered and kind of say the same thing. If you use a Q&A form, they have to post their own uh, thoughts first before they can see anybody else's posts. So that's kind of a, a nice feature that way. I'll, uh, I can put my question in here, uh, or I can introduce a forum um, sample forum. Uh, don't worry about using this. Force everybody to be uh, subscribed. Um, all this kind of stuff. You don't really, you won't really use this uh, with the attachment. You can change that in case somebody wanted to do attach a, a video or something along those lines. Grading type. You can set the grading this way, average of ratings. So if, say for example, um, the students post three times and you give it three grades, it'll take the average of those three grades. Count of ratings. Um, sometimes uh, when showing a video in class, I'll have the students be on a forum discussing the video while it's playing, um, and I want, might want them to post so many times so I can actually count a total number of ratings, their best rating, the lowest ratings, or sum of ratings. On the scale, it's got a grade scale here. You can set it to whatever you like. I'll just set it to 20. Um, you can limit the time that the form is available by clicking this and changing these settings. Um, feel free to use this element if you want. Um, essentially, I, I have in the past just left forms open. And your group settings are right here. So I'm going to save and return to course. And I'll see my forum here. I'll go ahead and turn editing off. And I'll click on sample form. Okay. Now, before you can have students start posting, there's two ways you can do this. You can either post one discussion topic and have students discuss um, the topics within there, or you can allow students to post their own dis discussion topic. However, you do it, you want to give those instructions verbally before you give the assignment. So, in this case, I'll just add a new discussion topic. It'll ask the subject. Um, okay, and again, here's where I uh, go get my pictures or my web links or whatever it is that I wanted to to do. If you wanted to attach a file, you could do that here as well, and then I'll just post it to the forum. It'll give me 30 minutes to edit it. Your students will also have this option. Otherwise, it'll just kick it through and continue. So when I post, it'll look like this. Here's a discussion topic. If I click on that, it'll take me to this topic. It'll give the name of the person who posted it and any replies. If I click on the zero at this point, it'll just go back in, through the chain, through the reply chain. Um, just for example, I've had a discussion that's gone on for maybe 30 minutes with about 10 students in class and gotten about 200 different responses. So these can really start building, um, and it is a really neat way to have a discussion uh, in class. Um, again, just, just to point out, if you want the students to discuss, they need to go here and here. If you 
for uh, to be a part of the discussion. If they click this, it'll create a, a new thread. Okay, so make sure that's clear to the students. I've had them uh, miss that in the past, and some students were kind of out left doing their own thing with that. So um, if a student wanted to reply, they'll click on this, edit, delete, reply. Here's the reply. And so on and so forth. It'll just continue that way. Now, what's nice is as a teacher, um, you have the power to delete anybody's post. So if somebody does post something inappropriate or something like that, you can control that. And another nice thing about Moodle is because it's self contained, it's all password protected, it's kind of not out on the web per se. Um, it's more manageable from your standpoint, okay? Now, uh, I'm a teacher, so you won't see this, but if students begin to post, you'll have a spot right here where you'll be able to assign a grade, okay? In addition to that, if I go back to the course, you can search forums, okay? So if uh, you or a student, um, depending on how you're using forum, perhaps it'll help them in an assignment, they have a forum search right here. Also, if you post or if you click on student's profile, that gives you an option to see all of their forum posts. This is a little uh, nice feature for when you're grading. So this is how to use forums.